Good morning people, this is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. I'm here with one new video on index and match function. In this new video, I'll talk about how do we work with index and match. One, two, three, start. Good morning people, this is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. In this new video, I'm going to talk about how to work with index and match function. Before I start talking about index and match function, let me tell you what is the requirement in the sheet and why do we need index and match function. In this sheet, I have this table which has got different cities listed in uh, first row column and the first row. Here, I need the distance between the starting stations to the destination station. So let's say if I start from Jammu and if I want to go to Jaipur, what is the distance? So Jammu and Jaipur. So, so if I start from Jammu and go till Jaipur, I want to find out what is the distance. In order to fi find out the distance, I'll select in the first starting station as Jammu and in the destination station, I'll select Jaipur and I'm expecting that the distance should get displayed here in the cell. Now here I want to do two lookups. First lookup should be done on the basis of the value present in the cell and it should be looked up in this co column. And similarly, the destination station, which is Jaipur, should be looked up in this horizontal row. Hence, to solve this problem, I am choosing index and match function, which is a combination of two functions, which is index function and the match function. Before I begin explaining both these functions, let me tell you that if you know index and match function, you don't need to know VLOOKUP because index match function combination works much better than VLOOKUP. Also, it solves the problem or the limitations of v, limitation of VLOOKUP. That is, the lookup column has to be the first column in the table array. If you use win index and match function, the lookup column need not be the first column. It can be anywhere in the table. In order to see this, you can watch the next following video on limitations of VLOOKUP, how it is taken care by index and match function. Here, let's first understand what is an index function. If I say index, I'll type in index, there are two types of index function. First has got three parameter which is array, row number and column number. And the second parameter is reference, row number, column number and area number. In this, I'm only going to talk about the first row, which is row number and column number, which doesn't have the area number. So first one says array. Now, let's say this is the entire table, which has got all the values that I need. Within this table, I want to go from Jammu. Now it is asking me for row number. So Jammu is, is on the fourth position. Now here I'm also including in kilometers because that's also a part of our array or the table. So I'll start counting from here 1, 2, 3 and 4 and Jammu comes at 4th position. So I'll type 4. Now column number. So the destination station is Jaipur. So I'll start counting again from in kilometers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So I type 7 and I close the bracket. Now I see that the distance from Jammu to Jaipur is 847 kilometers. Now, if you have understood this function, then let me tell you what exactly index and match function do is within the table which we have selected as an array, it asks for row number and column number. So when I give the row number as 4, it starts from Jammu and selects the entire row. When I give column number as Jaipur, it selects the 
Jaipur column and the intersection value is 847 which is displayed as a result. So we can say that index function is a function which fetches the value present at the intersection of row number and column number. But the problem is if I change this starting station from Jammu to let's say Mumbai, this value doesn't change. And since it doesn't change, this doesn't change because the row number and the column number are fed manually. It actually has no relation from this cell. This entire function that we have written is not dependent on Mumbai cell. We have manually seen Mumbai and entered that value. In order to get it automatically, what we have to do is we have to learn the match function. So let's see what the match function do. When I type equal to match, this function can be compared to VLOOKUP. In the first parameter, the first parameter that we have is lookup value. So what, I, what value am I searching for? I'm searching for this Mumbai because user is going to change this value. I have seen people often get confused whether should they select this Mumbai or this Mumbai. The, the difference between both these values Since user is going to change the value here and your distance between starting and destination stations depend on these two cells, you must choose this as a lookup value. Now after hitting the comma, it is asking me for lookup look array. When I say lookup array, this can again be compared with VLOOKUP's second parameter which is table array. Now in VLOOKUP, we select a table like this, but in lookup array of math function, we cannot select a table. It is one dimensional array. So either we can select a row, select a column or a row like this. Since I need Mumbai, which is in column, I'll select this vertical column. Now I'll put zero. Now to let you know people, this zero, one, and minus one is not available in VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP only has one and zero, but this minus one is a separate feature in match function. We'll discuss this minus one later, but for now, I need a perfect match. That means the value which is written here must match with the value written here. So for that, I'll select exact match and I'll close the bracket and I'll press enter. Now, you can see that Mumbai is at second position. But if I change that to, let's say, Kolkata, so now it gives me the updated result of Kolkata, which is present at sixth position in this column. Similarly, I'll write one more match function for this Jaipur because that is my lookup value. Now this Jaipur is to be looked up in this horizontal column and the match type is again going to be zero. I'm going to work on one, on one more video which is going to explain the match types of match function but you can expect it in a separate video. Now I press enter. Now you can see the Jaipur is at seventh position. I'll change that to Lucknow and now you can see that the position has got automatically updated. By now you must have understood what is an index function and what is a match function. Just to explain match function once again, it is a function which fetches the position of a value within the given array. Like we are fetching the position of Lucknow in this horizontal array and here we are fetching the position of Kolkata in this vertical column. So now my job is extremely simple. I just need to put all these three cell formulae into one cell and see how do I do that. I type equal to index and to write a better function I press shift and f3 to come up with the function argument screen and here it is asking me for an array. So I'll select this horizontal array. Now it is asking me for a row number. Of course row number is 
in order to fetch the row number i'll write match function here when i write match function i remember that first parameter is the lookup value so i'm looking up for this kolkata and i am looking within this column with the parameter 0 as a perfect match which i have already explained here again i am writing another match function i want to look up this lucknow in this horizontal range with 0 as perfect match now when i click ok you will see when i change this to delhi the feature automatically changes so from delhi to Lucknow is 569 but now if I change this Lucknow to let's say Chandigarh the value gets updated to 249 so Delhi to Chandigarh it's 249 so now I see people that my table is giving me the proper value so this is a small description of index and match function in order to see how this index and math function can replace VLOOKUP and solve the limitation of first column being the lookup column in the table array of VLOOKUP, you need to watch the next video. So please switch on to the next video to learn more about index and math function. Thank you very much.